Have you guys ever heard of sonal luminescence? No. Sona no? luminescence? Okay. Sona luminescence? Yeah, it's called sonal sona luminescence, yeah. So it, it's, it's a thing that they figured out. It's a form of gravitation. And uh, what it is, is they use a sound wave, a high-frequency sound wave, and uh, they use like a bottle jar of water. And with the high-frequency sound wave, they can actually create an explosion inside with just those components. And they call it a star in a jar, right? Because that's what it mimics. And with that, it actually makes an explosion out of nothing, basically. The mere component of water and sound waves, right? And bubbles, these bubbles. So I was, I was just thinking, with the Big Bang, right? We really have no observable, testable theory on the Big Bang. Right. There's a lot of physicists that are trying to put together the whole everything from nothing thing. It's not too good a case, but they're working on it. But I'm saying, what do you guys think about that? Well, first, I want to dispute that it, scientists are working on something from nothing, because the more I talk to scientists, the more I like to find a scientist. Wrote a book on it. No, no. Lawrence Krauss, his well, book it, specifically is that there there were things that he, like he there was a quantum vacuum, which is not nothing. Right. There was. So this notion of something from nothing is just a pet peeve of mine that, that Christians put forth. And but don't they do, uh, don't they do matter, matter, but can they observe and touch this theory? Well, no, and so that's a whole me, different. Go ahead, John. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Paul. I was just going to see if, we, if you could define for us what you mean when you say, when you say something from nothing, like, what do you mean by nothing exactly? Well, do you mean, I mean absolute part, nothing? When I say something from nothing, what I'm my idea on and my take on it is that we can't observe it and we can't test it. And as far as we know, we don't even really understand the component. We talk about a cosmic vacuum, but it's not something we can mimic or test. They talk about matter versus antimatter. Well, no, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But that's hold, not something. Hold on, that's not. I'm, I'm so sorry, Matthew. You're not answering my question. Could you please well, define well, nothing for me? But you can't. In my opinion, you can't define nothing. How do you define something that doesn't exist? That would be I mean, a step I, right there. Something that doesn't exist. Some something right? that doesn't exist. So, would absolute nothing. nothing would that be a good descriptor for it? Absolute nothing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, what uh, Paul was trying to say is that absolute nothing is not something that is actually that it doesn't actually exist in reality. When when like Lawrence Krauss talks about something from nothing, he still he says, well, the nothing. Like, and we can create vacuums that remove all particles, all radiation, everything like that. We can create these vacuums. And what we find is that there's still an electrical charge, even though there's no perceivable, like anything in there. And so this nothing that is there can still have the ability to create something like something can still happen inside this vast. Can matter come out of that? Can that nothing? Well, can that. Vacuum plug nothing create matter? That's the question, right? What well, I mean, do you want me to explain it to you? Matter from nothing. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Well, if you were to look at the current leading hypothesis about the beginning of the universe, what happened is, is this a quantum scalar field, it was in a false vacuum state. And for whatever reason, or no reason at all, we're not even really sure, but it fluctuated from a false vacuum state into a true vacuum state. And when it does this, it releases an immense amount of energy. And this immense amount of energy that's released it is the inflation event of the universe. So it's not like, you know, Big Bang is kind of a misnomer. It's actually the, the inflation event. And so it in, the universe inflated and all these uh, with all these inflaton particles that was, is just energy. It's, ju it's all just energy. So this energy is released and then it's transformed into what would eventually become matter that we have today, like the atoms and all of that. That's the current leading hypothesis. And it's, it's all based in just energy changing forms. And we definitely can test for energy being released by the fluctuation of a quantum scalar field from a false vacuum state into a true vacuum state. We, we know that that can happen. And when that does happen, an immense amount of energy is released. And that's how you can get a quote unquote universe from nothing. Okay. So this is what you said about right? Yes, it's but, all, it's all, well, but we're trying, but we're trying yeah. to clarify is that we're trying to clarify that no, the scientists that you're like, people are not positing that matter came into existence and matter, and matter actually, or, sin or, or different forms of the same thing. So I just wanted to just wanted to clarify that what you are talking about is not something that is actually actively positive. I would agree with you 
when you say that these are not things so, that so, okay, we I'm can just, go back and keep up with you guys. Yeah, so, test it in a lab. The one guy said, yeah, the one guy said that it's energy, right? And the energy expands or, or however you worded it. And mm -hmm. you're saying that it's beginning with mass, right? No, I'm said? saying that matter, so matter, matter is matter a state of it. With. Matter and energy are the same thing. Right. That's E equals MC so squared. Matter, ma right. matter is physical, right? Energy is not physical. But the, you know that they're the, you know that they're different states of the same thing, right? So you can get rocks out of energy. I mean, uh, potentially, I can't, but it, but that, but event the you rocks, the rocks, the rocks, yes, they the scientists can absolutely energy becomes energy becomes molecules all the time. So I don't know what you're, and then those molecules eventually will collect, and some might become a rock. So you're saying that that energy will create solid. Will we create molecules that will recall, that will create solids, and this is testable and observable. Yes. Yeah. Matter so, like so that, 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 you, know, you know that E. You know that E equals M C squared. Energy equals that's that's a famous equation you're familiar with, right? I understand. Yeah. Yeah. E is energy, and M on the other side is mass, which is, you know, the what when matter is. The E equals M C squared is a theory, right? It's a well, it's a scientific theory, yes. In the in the not in the hypothesis version, it's a. I mean, scientific uh, theories is yeah. Scientific theory is is pretty much as close as you can get to like absolute fact as you can be. Um, as, that was as always fact, right? Can fill a short of that. The, a theory, even in science, no, no, no. talking about a theory is science. It, it's still an evidence based guess, right? But a fact no. is that step over where it's evidence based proof, right? An evidence-based guess is a hypothesis. Hold, hold on, hold on, Matt, Matthew, Matthew. An evidence-based guess is a hypothesis. Like a, a scientific theory oh, is... That's a, 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 hypothesis is an educated guess. It's not an evidence-based guess. A theory is an evidence-based guess. And a mm. fact is an evidence-proved theory, right? N not in the scientific Richard Dawkins sense, Dawkins explained no. this really well. Well, I mean, no. I, I just watched a... Uh, talk on Richard Dawkins and he explained that he he says it himself right he continually calls it fact he continually in you know this is something that gets me why atheists tend to contort a theory with a fact right but then when you go to the head atheist Richard Dawkins himself he admits and concludes that a theory is just a mere theory and a fact is a fact right it's like no, I'm sorry Matthew Matthew no. Matthew Matthew so Matthew, Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, let's put the, let's put the brakes on it. For one thing, I want to address, and I'll let Paul talk. Hawkins is not the head atheist. Okay? There's no head atheist out there. I just that really kind of grinds up. Oh, he's an evolutionary point. biologist, and he leads the world in atheism. I mean, I really don't I care. Know, like, I really don't care. Person. I really, I really don't care. Paul, what, what did you have to say? I was gonna say in the in the scientific sense, I I do not. I'm sorry, Matthew, I just don't believe you that Richard Dawkins was saying, I think you misinterpreted what he was saying. I have heard no, many, many, no, many of his lectures. I read many of his books. Uh, unless you're giving me a citation at this point, I'm afraid I feel like you- I'll give you a citation. What he said. I'll give you a citation. Okay. I'll give you a citation. I, I don't know the exact video, but if you type in uh, Richard Dawkins and Lawrence Cross, they sit down and they talk about that interview exactly. So if you go watch okay, that Richard, video, that, reference that, the other video, you go watch that one. Okay. I'll, yeah, apparently, I'll, Richard Dawkins that, got you, if you, trouble. No, those two are friends. They talk, they've they talked hundreds of times. Yeah. So you're talking about a lot of oh, yeah. video to watch. Oh, yeah. That's not a citation. That's that's telling me to go find a, a needle. But well, I don't know the exact video. video. I, I don't know. And I watch yeah, it. But he does uh, things. He explains it for like 10 minutes. No, I, I doubt it. And I don't accept that. That's so that true, man. I looked through two days ago. Matthew, please don't get argumentative. That the, how how recently you heard something is unrelated to whether you're interpreting it correctly. Okay. Anyway, if you if you if you uh, look up, I wish I. Anyway. So he does say it. Describe. I mean, you 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 can YouTube it after and see him saying it. No, but, but okay, but it but doesn't matter whether really relevant. It makes yeah. no difference what Richard Dawkins how he describes theories or facts or any of those kind of things. And even though I, I just strongly don't believe you, that is not if you look these things up. That if you go, that's a, the word theory in science is not in any way related to hypo. Well, a, a theory is a is highly proven. It's it's the pinnacle. It's the pinnacle of science. It's not. I think you're thinking the law might even be better. Law is not better than theory. 
a theory is in science is a way to pr make predictions about the future that they, that doesn't, that we have yet to disprove. And so a scientific theory is not the way scientists use that word is not the same way people on the street use the word theory. People use it in the same way that scientists use hypothesis. So that's all semantics and it's, it's unrelated to the initial thing you were calling about. Absolutely. But uh, as we're talking about sourcing stuff, can you source somewhere where I can watch energy turn into matter? Uh, I mean, that's, that's a basic Google. thing. Fucking like energy turn into matter. I'll change my mind. If you, I mean, if you, can, if you can look into, I mean, basic physics will tell you that, but, you know, that's just but a. It's uh, all guesses, right? This is where I am, man. If we could actually prove and show energy turn into matter, it wouldn't be a debate right now. It wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be an issue. So I, I really have my I mean, doubts I think that it we still could would witness be an energy turn into matter. So what if we could witness it, if that would solve, I, if we could witness energy. So you, just told me, so you just told me to Google Lawrence Krauss and, and Richard Dawkins. Have you ever Googled turn energy into matter? No, but I've, I've watched quite a few debates on the topic of the big bang. No, but, no, but have you, you know, so you've not gone to Google scholar. You've not attempted to look into scientific no, literature. No, I've, I've never done that. Videos and debates yeah. as you're, so I'm assuming that it doesn't here. exist because of the debate. I will for sure. I will do this. Yeah. Uh, when sure. you're done here, please like, and go look into the fusion in the sun or go look into how nuclear reactors work. There's so many things that, that, that so many te technologies we've built based on converting energy to matter that I really <laughs> feel like if you just go look that up and then call us back next time after you've looked that up. And if, if that's, I will. if what we're saying doesn't hold water, then I'll call, I'll call next week. Hey. Will you guys you still go look up Stone Illuminescent Club? Yes, I will. I was actually okay. trying during the show and I actually wasn't seeing any results come back. So I'm wondering if I'm, but I've been uh, star in a jar in YouTube. I mean, you can, you can find it. It'll come up. Yeah. You check that out. I'll go check that out and I'll call you guys next week. Then. Sounds good. All right. Well, All right. We will see you later. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you. Okay. Woo. Wow. That was interesting. <laughs> Sorry, we got into some weeds there. We also, he hit on a few things that just really bug me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it, it's, it's crazy. Like the fact, cause I really wish he could have, you know, defined what nothing was you know, like earlier or something. Cause I don't know. I feel like he's really getting hung up because look, look, the thing is, is that he wasn't looking for like fusion or anything like that. What he's, he was literally looking for like, being able to take maybe the heat given off by fire and turn it into bread or something and created that. I feel like that's the direction that he was going. Like he was wanting to take energy and then turn it into something organized like what we have now. Cause and I could have gotten to this, but after the inflation for anybody that I know Paul knows this, but for anybody that doesn't know after the inflation event, uh, at the beginning of the universe, the universe was actually too hot and dense for around, I want to say it was 300,000 years as we would experience time before light could even travel through the universe. And it was uh, not until that point where atoms could form. Like the, the, there, were, there, there were no atoms at that point. So, I mean, like he thinks that when we say, oh, this energy transformed into, into what would we would understand to be matter now, he thinks that I've got this, I've got this really great clip where it's just like an explosion and then there's Snoop Dogg in it. That's, you know, smoke wind every day. And then it's like dogs and trees and planets and everything like that coming out of it. I feel like a lot of Paul just expect that, but that's just simply not how it works. He sounds like a lot of the talking points I might've made like six years ago before I actually started studying these things. So hopefully he goes and he gets a bit of an itch on, on instead of listening to debates, maybe uh, looking up the science on his own. Yeah, I hope so too.